And the fact that Matt Williams will use a guy like Barrett in a high leverage situation and he doesn't have that much experience. That's right, Byron. Barrett had struggled a little bit of late as well. His ERA had jumped almost a point in his five appearances prior to last night. But Matt Williams trusted Barrett in a big spot last night, giving him the ball with the bases loaded, the tying run in scoring position in the sixth inning. And Barrett delivered in a big way, striking out Brandon Barnes to end that inning and leave the Nationals up by two runs. They ended up adding on a couple runs and pulling away late. And as you just heard Ian Desmond say, a couple guys in the clubhouse said that was kind of the turning point of the ball game when Barrett was able to work out of that jam. Barrett talked about that situation after the game last night, and earlier today I asked Matt Williams how Barrett's success in those types of spots can affect both the rookie right-hander and the team down the stretch. I've been put in that spot a couple times this year, which has helped me prepare for that moment. Um, but I think for me it's, um, it's about getting strike one uh, and just attacking right out of the gate and um, you know just try to keep a, a simple mindset. And, uh, and just go right after him. And, uh, you know, I was able to make pitches when I had to and um, get us out of the jam. Matt said he thinks you're kind of suited for that role coming in with runners on in that type of situation. What do you think it is about your stuff or the way that you attack it or is that, that makes you up for that type of role? I mean, I, I'm, I'm up for whatever role uh, that can help, uh, help the team win, um, whether it's that role or, I mean, at, at, Whatever, whatever the game is, um, I just try to come in and, and make pitches. And, uh, and, I mean, I've been fortunate to, to put in tight spots, and I think it's going to um, help me later down the, down the road and, uh, you know, be able to prepare for those big situations. But um, I just, whenever my name's called, I just go out there and try to win every single pitch and, and keep it simple and, and attack. That's all I can do. It's important for everybody involved, um, for his confidence, certainly for our team. Uh, you know, we get in these situations. I think the first, one of the first ones he had was against Stanton uh, early in the season. So it's you know, he's faced some some middle of the order guys with pressure situations, high leverage situations, whatever you want to call it, and and done well. Uh, it's he's uh, he's accustomed to it now. He's not afraid to take the ball. He's not afraid to throw a strike and and uh, to, and take his chances. And it helps when you got a really good slider too. So you know, he's pitched really well. Barrett's certainly been put to the test so far this season in his rookie big league campaign. Of his 36 appearances so far this year, he's entered the game with at least two runners on base 11 times. Matt Williams has really trusted him in big spots, and as you heard Matt Williams say, against some really big hitters, too. He's faced Stanton, he's faced Tulowitzki, he's faced some really good elite hit hitters in this league, and more often than not, he's come out on top. So the Nationals are, they've had a lot of faith in Aaron Barrett from the beginning, but the more that he comes through in those types of spots, Byron, the more that Matt Williams will continue to give him the ball in those crucial situations late in games. All right, thank you so much, Dan. Expect to see more from Aaron Barrett this year.